Intercultural Encounters. Why do people from different cultures sometimes have misunderstandings or conflicts? Because they can interpret the same thing differently. Some behaviors that are polite in one culture can seem rude in another culture. Clothing that is very nice in one cultural context can be entirely inappropriate in another. People from any two cultures should be able to make the same observations about someone's behavior or clothing, but their interpretations of them could be very different. This is because they attach different cultural meanings to what they observe. Cultural meaning is symbolic. We do not see events and objects just for what they are. We attach symbolic meaning to it. For example, instead of simply seeing clothing of a particular color and style, we can interpret it to indicate that a person is a policeman or a baker. These professionals' uniforms have symbolic meaning to all who know how to interpret them. Gestures and actions take on symbolic meaning when interpreted through a cultural lens. Greetings, for example, vary widely from culture to culture. How should you greet a particular person? Do you shake hands, wave, give a kiss on the cheek? Is a hug appropriate? Do you bow? The rules vary widely around the world. Interculturally competent people will adjust their behavior according to the context they find themselves in. Greetings are fairly formulaic. The right way to greet different kinds of people can usually be described in a few rules. Other cultural differences are more general and are the result of differences in values. One such difference is the difference between what are called high context and low context cultures. High context cultures are ones where the members of those cultures share a lot of context in common. From one member of a high context society to another, there is a lot they can assume they have in common. Most cultures in Latin America, the Middle East, and Asia are considered high context cultures. When they communicate, they use the full context to understand a message. It's not just the words that matter, but also how the words are said and in what context. They assume a shared understanding. This means that many things may be left unsaid. In a low context culture, like the United States, messages are made explicit through words. Speakers do not leave key parts of the message unsaid, and what is said is interpreted more literally. That is one axis along which cultural differences are described. Today, we will look at two more.